Hello, everybody. Again, Anthony Romeo from Wise Up Podcast, brought to you by Wise Components. Today, like every other day, we come to you bringing you knowledge, right? Today's special guest, though, he's bringing knowledge is power every day on his hit podcast, Let's Talk Cabling, right? So today we have RCDD. Not a superhero, but close to it, in my opinion, because he's educating the ICT community on standards and education in this community that we serve from, whether it be design applications, install app, you know, there's so many uh, ways to go about designing systems, implementing these systems that affect healthcare, uh, your data centers, you, you, you're in an industry, you name it, you have a network infrastructure supporting that industry. And it's, be sure that you're talking and working with knowledgeable people. And Chuck Bowser's with us today, and he's out there on Let's Talk Cabling, educating the masses on his podcast, also on his um, social media. So I, I would encourage that if you're not checking them out on, is it Thursday night, Chuck? Thursday yes, night? Thursday nights. Thursday night. And we'll put in into the, the notes all the different places you could listen to Chuck and uh, his guest. There was one episode. Uh, Chuck was kind enough to allow me to come on and, and talk about what we're doing. Um, actually, two episodes. So uh, Sometimes he has special guests and sometimes he doesn't. So <laughs> in my case, that was special, just not a special guest. <laughs> but in any case, folks, um, we're, we got Chuck here. Very, very fortunate to have him. And uh, what I'd like to ask him is the why, right? So what brought you to this place, Chuck? And uh, what you're trying to do? What's, what's the objective? Thank you for having me on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for having me on, Anthony. Love your oh. podcast, by the way. Thank you. I started this journey, I guess, about two and a half years ago now. Yeah, I was at a Bixie conference, the one they had in Tampa in 2020. And I was sitting in the committee's meeting. And I'm not, at that time, I wasn't a committee member. And the, if you go to the Bixie conferences, you can sit in and observe them, even if you're not a committee member. So I was sitting in the meeting and the codes and standards, because I'm a code geek. I'll, I'll admit it. I, I'm a code geek. And this guy got up who was one of the members of the committee and he's, he was doing his talk and he stopped and he says, look around the room. And everybody started looking all around like, what? He goes, what do you notice? And everybody's like, what's he talking about? He goes, there's a bunch of old people in here. And I was like, <laughs> this guy's right. And at that point, it just, the bell went off. Ding. We need to attract people into this industry. And, and this is before I heard the, the stat that Mike Rowe put out there. You know, he said for every five people that retire, they're replaced by two. And he said, that trend has been going on for 15 years. That's before I even knew that. And I said, you know what? We, I need to make this. One of the challenges I had as a young technician in the field, a young installer, a young apprentice, was the people above me didn't want to share the knowledge. They kept that close to their chest. They were right. afraid that if I, if I tell him how to do this, I might, they might take over my job. Right. Well, A, if you're thinking that way, you, you need to leave anyway. I'm, I'm just hey, get out of the way. You need to get out of the way. B, when you teach somebody, it actually reinforces the knowledge in you. Nothing made me more proud than when I was working for a contractor company and the two people I was training and they they excelled and got in positions above me because that that's just that reflects on me as a as a as a trainer. So I saw, you know, I saw this opportunity. I said, okay, I need to communicate to the young people. So I started doing this thing just to attract the young people to our audience. And then it just kind of grew from there, right? You know, we talk about installation. We talk about certification, estimation, project management. I even do career path stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Because my whole goal is to educate, encourage, and enrich the lives of people in our industry. I'm trying to leave the industry a little bit better than the way I found it in 1980. Yeah. 40 years of experience. So I'm basically just giving away. So you established that um, you've been working in this industry more than five years and mm -hmm. uh, at different capacities uh, in your day job, you work for a major manufacturer and uh, support the training development, if, if that's uh, correct, right? Yep. 
Yep. So I, I, I get to go around and teach contractors. I get, yeah. to, I get to see them. I get to see them get that as an instructor. There's nothing more fulfilling than to see somebody looking at you with that deer in the headlight look. And then you explain the concept and all of a sudden like that light it. bulb, the light yeah, exactly. bulb goes off and you're like, exactly. Yeah, that's why I do I, that. I did that. You know, that's that, that is terrific. Uh, I, I recently had somebody on the wise up uh, podcast, uh, Carrie gets, I don't know if you're familiar with her, but she, you know, uh, she wrote a book uh, called Jumpstart Your Career in the Data Center. I saw and, the book. And talks about over 200 different positions from site selection of the data center to programming the software and everything in between. And in the book, uh, it, it, there's like multiple chapters in the structuring, in, in layer one structuring infrastructure, uh, you know, structured cabling, PDUs, UPSs, you know, power cooling, all the things that in the ICT world. So out of those 200 jobs, maybe you don't work for a Cushman Wakefield or a JLL to select the site of a data center, but between contractors, design engineering firms, uh, end users in doing moves, ads, and changes, there was a huge chunk of opportunity within this in this world that we were you know one of the um, takeaways when i was doing my research uh what you were talking about mike rowe uh dirty jobs uh, great show um that <clears throat> in america uh though this broadcasts uh, outside of america but in america when asked youth of america what the number one job is the answer was influencer <laughs> that was the number one job however you go and look at a country like china um the same question was asked and the number one job was engineer right so by you starting this in 2020 i applaud your efforts because i understand what you're trying to do you looked around that room and in the Bixie conference and you said there's a lot of older folks that are senior that have a lot of experience that and that's going wayside and dealing with contractors in my day job as well I know guys that are well into their 60s and 70s that are doing threaded rod and working and humping cable and pulling cable and it's like they do it one because they love it and they make money doing it and two they do it because nobody else wants to do it you know, they because they're blinded by the Instagram phenom or TikTok phenom, you know, mm -hmm. you created this platform. Knowledge is power is your slogan, right? So, yep, it, it's so true. Um, you know, what what's something that you hope to achieve, you know, by doing this show? Uh, what's your what's your goal? You know, the. um when you mentioned that the number one thing that young people want to do is be an influencer. I've got, I've been, like you said, I've been on top on, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. I've got over 200 plus episodes and most podcasts fail within the, within the first five episodes. Yeah. So it just shows you the pure tenacity, right? <laughs> um, the, the challenge of being an influencer is everybody, everybody thinks it's all glamorous, you know? For, the, for every one minute you spend in front of a camera or a microphone making content, there is easily 15 minutes, 30 minutes on the backside, editing, creating, spitballing, coming up with ideas, posting it, responding back to people. So being an influencer is not as easy and as glamorous as a lot of people think. And I don't consider myself an influencer. Right. Um, now, to address your question, I've kind of already gotten that because... I've I'm, I've always been a teacher. I've always been a mentor, and I I, two, I think two years ago Bixie started the mentoring program. I joined yep. in as soon as I heard that. I couldn't join it fast enough. And I was like, dude, I need to be a part of that because I've been always been a mentor unofficially, right? And I have witnessed. Oh, I, was, I also do free RCD study groups once a year too. So I've got those people I'm mentoring, and I've I've literally have witnessed, helped, or been a part of the journey of at least five people I can name off the top of my head who achieved their RCDDD because of my effort. That's and like, terrific. And Very that's, commendable. That's, and that's not on me. That's their hard work. But I, I get to witness that. And the, here's the funny thing. 
when I when they when they when they sent me a message, Chuck, uh matter of fact, one of my mentees just got her RCD. She said, Chuck, I got my RCD. I was more ecstatic the day that she got her RCD than the day that I got <laughs> when you got yours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's because cool. I lived that journey with her. And I know that she's going to be impacting this community, this yeah. ICT community for another 20 or 30 years. And let's be honest. Chuck's, Chuck's not a spring chicken. Right? You know, <laughs> I, I'm, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm, just, we, I'm we hoping it's not a train. right? We established that you have more than five years on uh, under your belt. So 40 plus. We'll, 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 be, plus. we'll be kind. Um, no, it, and the reason why I asked you about this is, you know, to establish not only uh, the show's credibility, but also your credibility is, you know, you're not you're not in it for the clamor. You're in it because you want to see, you know, this this industry flourish. You want to see yes. people do well and and expose the you know the benefits of of what it has to offer, how it's provided for you. Uh, a wonderful life as well as it can provide for others and not to mention how it impacts so many different industries. I mean, I was talking to somebody the other day, it's like, could you imagine operating a business without a network today in, in this day and age? You know, they I used to, they used to call everybody, right? <laughs> Send snail I, mail. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't think of running a business today. Uh, without having the biz, you know, having a network infrastructure to support, whether it be a POS system, you I mean your your local mom and pop shop, whatever it is, they have a POS system. They, you know, something is going into a network. So, with that being said, you know, you have this, you have this great show. You're getting a a, um, a variety of manufacturers and. Uh, Design, design engineers as well as installers that are coming on and talking to you about you know it's not it, or i should say it's not just about like a widget right they're not coming on and say act now buy now right and 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 do a song and dance um they're also not telling you about the latest edition of the housewives they're talking about things that really could impact their their livelihood yep. in a positive way so you're not you're not talking about certain things like and we were just saying like the influencer, you know, what is an influencer? Well, my friend, you know, you might not have 4 million likes on a, on a YouTube channel. Right. So, uh, and shame on them for not, you know, checking it out, but let's, uh, again, I'm talking to Chuck Bowser, let's talk cabling. Um, and he, he's promoting knowledge, knowledge is power within the ICP community. Um, and Chuck, you could be heard um, on YouTube and just about every other platform, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Correct me. Yeah. yeah. So I broadcast the show on Monday nights, and then I've split that up in portions that go on, on on short form content like TikTok and Instagram. And then I do the <clears> live <throat> after hours thing, like you said, on Thursday nights, except for weeks where there's holidays. Yeah. And so I won't Thursday, be doing. <laughs> so the Thursday night, uh, if you're doing anything on Thursday night. Uh, like many others will be, um, but no, I, I really, I, I really commend your efforts and what you've established with Let's Talk Cabling and and what you've done in in your career. It, it is amazing, you know, because so many people, like you were saying before, really hold tight to that, thinking that they have that mentality where, right. oh, if I if I give them this knowledge, they're going to just bypass me. And it's like, no, if you give them this knowledge, they're going to work together. You're going to bring in more accounts, yep. more business. It's going to be easier to do your job. The so, better that technician is, the, the faster they work, the more, the better quality they have. And that's a direct reflection on you as a supervisor. Bing, right. done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I see it all the time, even in my position, it's like, you know, a boss has a title, a leader just gets done, you know, it's, yes. and that's it. You know, um, you don't need a title to do the job. You just need to have the determination and the know-how and that you can't have the know-how without individuals like yourself out there um, teaching um, mm -hmm. to the masses, both in your day job, as well as this uh, let's talk cabling podcast i think you're doing a phenomenal job and not to mention again you you bring up bixie as you're wearing your your bixie uh logo rcd 
you earned it. You didn't just buy it, right? So <laughs> you can't just buy them. You have to you have to tell them your RCD number in order to buy it. There you go. So um, you know, knowledge has definitely been powerful for you in, in the career that you've served this industry. Uh, you know, I greatly appreciate listening to the episodes as well as the live streaming sessions that that you've done in the past. Um, I've been a part of many of them. I think they're terrific and very candid. And you get the the honest opinion of the contractors out in the field, which I think are terrific. And I like how um, when we did the last podcast, you were saying, well, you know, Chuck, I'm out. Uh, I'm out at six o'clock at night in my truck. <laughs> Chuck, I'm going to my truck at six thirty at night. I can't be watching the video because I might get into an accident. <laughs> yeah. So guess what, folks? It is recorded. So you yep. can you can check it out. And again, all this information will be on our on our uh, podcast as well in the notes where you can find Chuck, where you can find his podcast, how you can. Uh, jump into the live chats that they do in futures on Thursday night. Uh, just not when there's a holiday. Right. <laughs> so, um, yep. uh, Chuck, I, I can't thank you enough. I mean, what you're doing, I think is such, has such an amazing impact on the industry. And, uh, I know people are noticing I, I'm hearing from others about you all good stuff. I, I assure you. Right. Appreciate so, that. <laughs> so it's, appreciate it, that. it's, it's terrific to know that um, people like yourself are out there and, and you're playing a positive role and impacting in, in a positive way in the ICP community. Um, for many people, you know, they just go about their lives and every day and not thinking about the network infrastructure and at Wise Up, that's what we've been talking about since 2019 is the stuff above the ceiling, behind the wall, and sometimes below your feet is keeping us all connected, right? So we're able to do podcasts, we're able to post on social media or watch the housewives of some county, um, you know, effortlessly from, you know, the convenience of your home or your office, right? So mm -hmm. you're welcome, <laughs> is what I like to say sometimes. Uh, and you're always at that, that place, that barbecue, that dinner party, that event, and they're like, what do you do? And you're like, you're a cable guy. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. And then they say, Well, can you come to my house and put in an outlet in my bedroom? Right. Not that kind of cable, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I've heard it all. Um, no, I, I really uh, I can't thank you enough and continue to do um, what you're doing here because, my friend, you definitely are making a positive impact in the industry. I appreciate the kind words. Uh, I am one of those who's working on accepting. Uh, when people say, Chuck, you're doing a good job, but I'm always, I'm super Buy me a cup of coffee. Huh? <laughs> Buy me a cup of coffee, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm, but I'm always super critical of myself and, and, you know, there are, I'll be first to admit, there are days where, you know, on Sunday afternoon, because I do most of my content strategies on Sundays and, and, I, and I'm saying, oh my God, what am I going to talk about this week? You know, and, and then I'll get, all of a sudden I'll get a question from an audience member. I was like, there's a show like, you know, somebody asked me like a code question or standard question or something like that. And, and they are the, the, my audience members are the wind underneath my wing. They're the ones that keep me going. Yeah. No. And again, I mean, it, there's like, you, you were talking about Sunday nights and then how, you know, we come up with strategy to come up with these, these episodes for both wise up and let's talk cabling, but the strategies are, are really endless there so because they impact so many different industries like the the picture behind me you know one major city you know the, every building is impacted by by what we do you know from yep. the design applications to the implementation of it of the structured cabling and then you know uh to supplying uh procuring materials uh but that being said if none of that happens then it, it doesn't work. It just implodes. Right. So, yep. um, it, and if anybody, <clears throat> if anybody wanted to, um, you know, uh, be more supportive to their, sh to your show, uh, how do you go about that? If you just go to let's talk cabling.com, there's a, a put down <clears throat> icon where it says support the show. You can support yeah. it through Patreon. You can support it through, um, going through the Amazon link. I'm even accepting corporate sponsors as well too. Just, any corporate sponsor, they're going to have to be aware of my show's agnostic. So if you have a competitor, I will be talking about your competitor on the show. 
because it's the show's agnostic because to the end user in the field to the guy who's who's putting up that plywood and putting in the blocks he doesn't care who what manufacturer uh made that he just knows he's got to get it in and get it tested so right my show's agnostic 100 percent. no that's that's a great point uh that you add and I, I think that people you know based on what you're saying will check out let's talk cable and if they're not already uh listening to the youtube channel or checking you out on social mm-hmm. media and the thursday night live shows uh those are those are terrific i do um i do ask everybody to check it out and do Just leave today. comments on our on our show on wise up which could be streamed on spotify apple itunes google play and basically however you stream now we're streaming in 12 countries so uh, we thank you for your comments as Apple has continued to have us at a five-star show. We really are appreciative uh, to our subscribers, our fan base, and uh, really like Chuck and Let's Talk Cabling, we are just trying to bring it more attention to the importance of the stuff behind the walls, above the ceilings, below our feet that's keeping us all connected. That's it. Uh, this is free of charge. Um uh, we we don't we don't want any of your money we just want to educate um i'm anthony romeo from wise up at wise components and we've been talking with chuck bowser from let's talk cable thank you